It's summertime and Lebanon is throwing a party. But it's not just these over-the-top parties and concerts. Although Beirut seems to be making a name for itself as a party center, it's also the cultural festivals, traditions, and history. All these festivals are held in historic sites, which gives that edge, that blend of, his, of history and contemporary performing arts. Festivals like this one in Baalbek showcase ancient Lebanese history in front of some of the largest Roman temples ever built. All well preserved, people flock here for the beautiful backdrop. Add to that a vibrant party scene some say has become the best in the world, and you understand why the tourism ministry hopes to cap two million visitors by the end of 2009. There have, of course, been tourism seasons lost in past years due to violence, but Lebanon seems for the moment to have found a balance, shaking its violent past, blending its finer traditions with a world-class party scene. For years, Beirut was known as a combat zone, but you got to put that out of your mind because now Beirut is this. <laughs> Beirut was considered a regional tourism spot, but no longer. The Lebanese capital now buzzes with international visitors. The downtown area, once deserted because of internal strife just a year ago, bustling once again. Oh. Beirut is now getting international attention as a vacation destination. It's hard to explain exactly what this is. Anyway, this summer, the world is partying on the shores of the Mediterranean. Cal Perry, CNN, Beirut.